we carried out searches in Plymouth and made an arrest and arrested a 39-year-old woman who works in, in the nursery. Our worst nightmare's just come true. Someone's been up to no good at the nursery. In five separate police interviews, Vanessa George refused to name even one of her victims. Six weeks ago, she gave her defence team a short list of first names. A stunt, say police, which has brought them no nearer identifying any of the children involved. It's dangling the names on a piece of string. Yeah, they're you not know? knowing. Hate her. Absolutely hate her. These parents had a son at the nursery. They still don't know whether he was one of those Vanessa George abused. We've hidden their identity to protect his. We're stuck. We're like on a merry-go-round that can't get off. It's mental torture what she's doing by not giving us what we need. And that is, is it our child or not? Yeah, we're on a merry-go-round. We're going around and around and around. And we're never going to get off. You know, if it's not our son, but it's going to be someone's children, she should actually come forward and say, yes, it was your child, or no, it wasn't your child. The nature of the photos is such that the children's faces aren't shown. George was careful to frame only their torsos and lower bodies. Combined with their very young age, this has made them very difficult to identify. But police have brought in a forensic anthropologist who's using a pioneering body mapping process. Dr Tim Thompson is one of only a handful of other specialists in the country to also use the technique. It may be that there are some unique marks on the torsos, like, like moles for example, maybe kind of little scars and those sorts of things, freckles. That might be useful and that would definitely make the job that much easier. If uh, one's attempting to use uh, venous patterns and those sorts of things, that, that is trickier, not because the technique is not applicable, but just because the veins are hard to see in that part of the body. The only person who knows for sure who the children in the photographs are is Vanessa George, and she is so far refusing to tell. By not naming the individual names, it may be she can avoid facing up to the reality of what she has done. Many, many cr criminals in that position where they, they've cr cr committed a heinous crime, um, the details of the crime make it very realistic. So it, in a way, by denying the detail, you're depersonalizing the crime. It becomes like an object. It's, it wasn't really somebody's, somebody's little child. By her not talking, she's committed all the parents to a life sentence. So I believe that she should get life. She should never get out until all details have been given, everything, from beginning to end, what she's done, who she's done it to, and when she did it. With the end of the criminal case, justice in the legal sense has been done. Vanessa George will tonight begin a substantial term behind bars, but for the parents of her victims, the agony goes on. Katie Stallard, Sky News, Bristol Crown Court.